So we're going to think about what Einstein could say in detail about wave functions for the Schrodinger cat experiment. So as usual, we draw him here and he wants details. So of course he's got to have a magnifying glass. Uh, but he's concerned with causality, and anytime you're concerned with causality, you got to draw a light cone. So we're doing that here. And we're going to give him a nice space uh, to do experiments on these cats. So of course, he's at the 0, 0, 0, 0 because he's at the origin. And this is the cat. It's two units away in the x direction with the explosives and we've got a second cat an orange cat oh there it is at one and we've got our dynamite and we're putting in a third cat in the basement at minus one half a brown cat actually So now, what are the rules for writing wave functions? So the dimensions of space-time is four, the dimensions of states is two, either live or dead. It's orthogonal, by the way. One wave function per cat. We write events for signals, and we normalize them so that the wave function has a value of a half. Now, at zero, 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 he knows all three wave functions. But at a half step, he knows the brown cat's final state. And at uh, one unit in the future, he actually knows what happened to the orange cat, live or dead. And of course, at minus two, he knows all three results. Good. But let's see actual wave functions. So we write it as two states that's live and not dead and not live and dead and for the orange cat different normalization factor because the signals at a different place again different normalization for the brown cat but it could be any of those things space-time numbers uh, aka quaternions we've got two states three wave functions but the total wave function is all three of them now these states are orthogonal. By that I mean you take dead times live, the inner product, you end up with zero. Okay, so at time minus a half, oh, what's this minus business? Okay, so the past time is a positive real number, whereas the future is a negative real number because the past is the past, it cannot change. You multiply one times anything and you end up with the same thing, but the future can change. All right, so what do we do here? Well, oh, I'm going to use coins to be honest about here. Um, there, the, the, the results are defined. <laughs> okay, so we go ahead and put in these new numbers, new normalization factors for the red cat, the orange cat, but we know the results. Oh, for the brown cat. Brown cat's dead. I'm sorry. It sent a red signal. Now, at minus one, uh, new numbers, new normalization factors. Oh, and the orange cat is dead. So sad. Okay, and now we continue on with the experiment at minus three halves. New numbers in there. New normalization factor. Oh, and that too, what happened? It's alive! Such good news. 